Hello again, I'm back with another Sea Stern and this one is really impressive. And what's really impressive as well is we're having a thunderstorm. I've never filmed anything in a thunderstorm before. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Time in the UK. The lovely people at Sea Stern have posted me out another little fantastic watch that I purchased from them. Unfortunately, I've paid in full and have had no discount on this one. So, just to be transparent, uh, the watch itself is a Doxa homage. Comes with a little book, a warranty card, and a couple of tools in a usual plastic case that CSN and a lot of Chinese manufacturers um, send out. First thing I have to say about this particular watch is that I'm actually quite impressed by it. As you can see, it's a homage to the Doxa. The bezel action is nice. The case finishing is nice, we've got this sort of faceted finishing to it. We've got the crown there, which as you can see has got the, hope you can make out, it's got the Sea Stern logo on it, Starfish logo. We've got the Sea Stern logo on the clasp. We've got a faceted finisher on the uh, strap there. And as you roll the strap around you can see that the links sort of it's a little bit blingy you know it's catching the light nicely i have to say i'm really quite impressed with this watch it's got like a sweet bezel action it's firm enough to the turn the bezel is grippy enough it's got like kind of a saw blade effect on the edge of the bezel rather than just strict coin edging see the treatment of the bezel there the watch head is faceted and what I mean by that is there's sort of brush sections and polished sections so the flat sections are brushed and the side sections there are polished with another brushed section on the flat edge got interesting treatment the dial there quite like that the hands I like I like the fact that the minute hand is orange although there's an argument to say it should be a little bit of color on the second hand if you look at the dial the indices have got a little bit of an orange highlight around them which really makes them sort of pop the date function as well that's um, loomed so when you look at it in the dark, and I'll show you a picture now, you see that that glows away quite nicely. And if we look at the side of the watch there, if we just move it in the light, you can see it really catches the light, as do the facets on the bracelet. I'll measure the watch, I'll give you the size, thickness, and wait. So we have a lug to lug of 47. We have a 40 millimeters width. 40.2. And 14.3 thick. The lug width is 20 millimeters. And it's 172 grams size for my wrist. Uh, on the back of the watch we have a picture that's quite reminiscent of the, the Great Wave. With a starfish on it. Back of the watch says S470. Sorry, S407. Automatic movement. It says Sapphire. 20 atmospheres SS316 
and that's the steel it's made with. Got the nice sea stone logo on the crown there. Crown's easy to operate. The strap is screwed. A nice screwed strap with polished sides to the links. And we've even got little polished facets. I don't know if you can see there inside the strap. We've got some little polished facets there just to help it pop a rooney. You see those little polished sections there? And on the clasp, which is pressed and uh, pretty good, it's got six points of adjustment. The only thing I'd say is is a little bit of gap in, and I'm only really aware of this because of the last sea sterns issue with the clasp. This one's much better, but it is pressed steel. Um, as you can see, it's got the milled section as well. Um, plenty of micro just. No dive complication on this one though. And here we are, the seven and a half inch wrist. I think you can see just how nicely it wears. I think that's stunning. Wouldn't you agree? I think this one's going to get plenty of wrist time. And for less than 100 quid, what an absolute bargain. Sea Stern, I have to say, you've really come up trumps this time. Well, I think you can tell by now that I've got a type that I like. I'm not particularly into my dress watches so much, but I do like a nice diver. And this one is a very nice diver. I'm absolutely stoked with this one. I've been wearing it for quite a few days now. And whether it's desk diving or deep sea diving, or whether you're just splashing around in a paddling pool, I'm sure it's going to be great for that. So, I've been time in the UK, thanks for stopping by, and I really would appreciate it if you could give us a like, a thumbs up, but best of all, if you could subscribe to the channel, tick, tick that uh, bell icon, and come back again when we load up more videos.